Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, this is going to be an interesting one. It finally looks like the Lindsay Lohan versus GTA 5 saga is now officially over. That's right, something that's been going on nearly five years looks to be coming to an end. So to give you a quick recap, in late 2013, shortly after the release of GTA 5, Actress and model Lindsay Lohan began to call out Rockstar for supposedly using a character modeled after her likeness without consent in promotional material for the game. Now in 2014, Lohan filed a lawsuit against Rockstar and not much was heard for a while until March 2017 when a judge allowed the case to proceed. Then in September 2017, the lawsuit was dismissed. However, Lohan and her lawyers attempted to appeal that decision. Now, yesterday, according to Reuters, in an unanimous 6-0 vote, the Court of Appeals ruled that Rockstar Games' parody of Lohan was nothing more than cultural comment and rejected the appeal request. And in their closing comments, the court also stated that Grand Theft Auto V's character, Lacey Jonas, was a satirical representation of the style, look, and persona of a modern beach-going young woman that was not identifiable as Lindsay Lohan. Now, in case you're confused on who Lindsay Lohan was trying to say she was, it was actually two people. So the lawsuit that was brought on four years ago uh, had an issue with GTA 5 featuring a young woman named Lacey Jonas, who does look a little bit like Lohan. I, for the longest time, thought she was trying to go after this girl right here, the bikini peace sign girl, because there's like a very similar image of her doing the same thing. So I almost assumed that's what she was going for. And actually, one of her things that she said in her argument was the plaintiff, who's Lindsay Lohan, has been using the peace sign hand gesture for years before and after its use in the video game. So apparently Lindsay Lohan is the only one who can use the peace sign as apparently that hasn't been around for years now. So obviously this was not a very good case by her at all. Now it's pretty clear that Rockstar's character Lacey Jonas is like making fun of all celebrities. Uh, in game she describes herself as a famous actor and high school movies nonetheless and singer. And Lohan's complaint calls the woman a look-alike and argues she did not provide Take-Two to use her likeness. Uh, and Take-Two, her lawyer argued, evaded her privacy under the civil rights law. Now, when the New York Court of Appeals also rejected Lohan's appeal, they said that uh, Grand Theft Auto's character Jonas is just a generic 20-something woman without any particular identifying physical features, which is actually kind of harsh considering that's what her argument was to say that she was like her. Now, with that said, the court did find that computer-generated images like avatars or NPCs can be legally called portraits. It's just that Lacey Jonas wasn't a portrait of Lohan, the court decided. Now, what's also kind of awkward and interesting is that earlier this month, Lindsay Lohan took on a job as the spokeswoman for Lawyer.com. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. I'm really not too sure what that's all about, but apparently it didn't work all that well because Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive and GTA 5 ended up winning this court decision. So it finally looks like this is going to be the end of Lacey Jonas versus Lindsay Lohan, Lindsay Lohan versus Rockstar Games versus GTA 5. I think this is finally it. I don't think we're gonna hear from this again. I'm pretty sure we're never going to see another celebrity try and face Rockstar Games because this clearly did not go well for Lindsay Lohan and it probably was a big pain in the butt for Rockstar 2 to try and fight something like this. In case you guys are unaware, video games and TV shows and books and comics and movies, they all have freedom under the First Amendment to make parodies of people. Like, you can make fun of anyone you want. It's, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're not breaking any copyright or privacy laws, which obviously Rockstar hasn't done because they're not using anyone's real name or anyone's likeness here, you're allowed to parody and make fun and, and joke about someone all you want. I mean, we've seen Rockstar do that in the GTA series for the last, like, 20 years now. It's just that, for whatever reason, this struck a nerve with Lindsay Lohan 
and she decided that she did not want to be a part of that. Now, with stuff like music, it's a little bit more cut and dry. We have seen Rockstar in the past have to like take songs out of their game because uh, license have actually run out, but you obviously can't license a person, especially if you're not using that real person's name. Obviously, music is a little bit tricky because Rockstar actually has to use real songs. They're not creating their own, you know, rap verses and whatnot. So that's the only time in which like a lawsuit has really been successfully implemented against uh, Rockstar. But as far as actresses and models like Lindsay Lohan and others, that's something they're just never going to win. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of this saga now that it's finally over? Did Rockstar win here? Are they the, the good guy? Are they the bad guy? Is Lindsay Lohan the one that got ripped off? Let me know your thoughts, opinions more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.